All right, so welcome back to this uh, final part of our three-part series. It's Andrew again from Avantia Technologies to take you through it. This is actually part two of the glass replacement series that we've been looking at. And in this part, we'll be focusing on reassembling our BMW door. So in the reassembling, we'll be looking at um, inserting our window regulator back into the door frame and screwing that on firmly. Then we'll insert our glass into the door frame as well and screw that onto the window regulator family. Then we'll test those two to see if they're working as you'll see later. Then once we're done with that, we'll continue with the rest of the reassembly process. So let's now focus on, uh, excuse me. Let's now focus on uh, screwing our window regulator back onto the door frame and uh, we'll try to take this part as slow as possible so that you can see all the screws that uh, hold the window regulator onto the door frame make sure you don't miss any and as you do that make sure that you also put back all the plugs that the vacuum seal plugs at the bottom of the of your door if you remove them make sure that you place them back and if you didn't remove them just go ahead and uh, fasten your window regulator back onto the door frame so let's follow that part and then i'll get back to you when we are done with that Once we're done screwing the window regulator back onto the door frame, we can now get our glass from the safe place that you had kept it. We had kept ours in the boot, still nicely wrapped up. So let's get that and head over to the to the door where we're going to place it, and then we'll see. Um, it's uh, those harnesses are, are very important, but it's probably a good practice not to have them on as you insert your glass into the door frame because. As you see later, it will not fit. You can see that right now, it couldn't fit, so we had to take it off and then put the glass first. We put the harnesses later. So once you've managed to insert your glass into the door, you can now attach all your harnesses and go ahead and screw your glass onto the window regulator. Make sure to get all the parts that hold the, the glass onto the window regulator. And once you're done with that part and screwing it on and screwing the, the glass on firmly, We'll then go ahead and test so let's follow this process and then i'll get back to you when we are done screwing our glass onto the window regulator i left at home on the couch even though i think i don't show it everything you see you know i own it i never been in touch to go and blow it i'm the type of nigga that will hold it down
Okay, so now it looks like uh, our glass is firmly held onto the window regulator. So now we'll go ahead and plug our regulator switch. We'll plug it in and then turn on the car so that we can be able to test. You can you don't don't have to necessarily turn it on fully. Just switch it on and then you can play around with the switch to see whether it works out oh, seems to be working fine as you can see goes down and then comes up with no hitches at all which is a good sign so i hope you does that too if it doesn't then you probably have to go back and look at how you reconstructed this but if it does then you can now go ahead and complete the process of reassembling our door just make sure that you put all the parts back. That's our interior corner molding which was taken. If you had seen the earlier videos, you see that that was missing. So we got, we got it and put it back. Yes, and just make sure that you don't miss out any of the components of this door because all the components that are on this door are very important. We had missed this glass stopper, so we screwed that back on as well. And make sure that all the screws that were attached to the door frame are there. Once we are done with that, then we'll put back our, well, vapor or vacuum seal panel. And as you noticed earlier, the vacuum seal panel is really easy to place back on the door frame. You just pat it back in the areas where the glue is or the adhesive is, like we're doing right now. Once you're done with that, you can do a bit of cleaning in case it was dirty. It's a good practice to try and keep the elements clean. So once we're done with the cleaning and all the screws are fastened and uh, safe we can then go ahead and place our interior door panel back onto the door frame that's really easy we'll first uh, connect all the the cables that are attached to the to this panel place them back into their clips we'll speed this process up because it's really easy and easy to follow So, place your interior door panel back on and uh, pat it at the sides where the clips are just to make sure it's uh, the clips are holding it firm onto the door frame then you can go ahead and screw it onto the door frame then you can place the aluminium trim back onto the that part that covers the clips and the screws and then our door will be back as it should be so there you test it and we are good to go hope you found this video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel enjoy driving your bmw and we'll see you again in our next video cheers